Hey guys, it's me again, SwitchCat, and I'm here uh, doing another one of those post-travel videos for you. Because, uh, you know, I like y'all. And also, uh, I need to sit down and go through my backlog to make sure, um, you know, stuff and stuff like that. Anyway, this is the Thailand trip, which was for work, so it's kind of boring. Um, warning in advance. But I guess you'll get to see a little bit of Thailand from the windows of cars and trains and things. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy it. It's not too long. Driving to the airport. The only one on the bus. It's usually how it is. This is Incheon International Airport Terminal 2. It's a nice and big place. All brand new stuff, really cool. This is basically KAL's home airport. Got through customs, no cameras in customs. Going up to the lounge, get some food. It's the lounge, it's biggin'. Walk into the gate. It's really far, it's like almost a kilometer inside the building. Got a whole forest in there. As you can see, Korean Air pretty much owns the airport. Look at all those blue planes. Backpack. There's my seat. Not a whole lot uh, of people sharing this space that time. Got the switch. And it's uh, raining. Always good to take off in a thunderstorm. You get used to it. Anyway. Got some food. They take good care of you on those airlines. I got the fish. There's Seoul. Bye-bye, Seoul. Arrival. This is Svarnaboom International. Premium line for check-through. Passed through customs real quick and got in my car and I'm getting teleported to Yeon Hotel. Still nighttime, of course. It's only two hours time difference. Here's the hotel. It's a nice one. And I got an okay room, so I got a little spot to work and bed. And I'm up on the floor high enough so that I don't have a lot of noise. Can't complain. Breakfast. Up in the little breakfast lounge area. It's, uh, it's nice. So, once again, on the high floor, so got a little bit of a view from the elevator area. Wonderful, wonderful. Driving. Yes, most of this is driving. Almost all of this is driving. That's the BTS rail up there. BTS is like a elevated subway. Or meanwhile, we're basically in traffic while the motorcycles mock us. All in traffic, you can buy flower wreaths for your shrines. It's always good. Got your exploding LPG-powered motorcycle. That's a BTS station up there. They're all above the street. It's really cool, actually. Ah, still driving. There's one, there's a train. They got the other one on top of it. Imagine, I can just imagine how the construction for that went. <laughs> Still driving. If I recall correctly, this was during the uh, last part of the weekend. So I decided to go to the electronics uh, mart in Pantip. This is it here. See if I can visit my favorite retro store. There it is. Of course, I arrived too early. Most of the stuff is closed. Still a cool place. Going upstairs. That's where it is. Okay, that's your uh, eSports area. There's little Zangief. And some other character cutouts and display stuff. Uh, closed, unfortunately, but it's a cool place. There's my coffee shop. So bye-bye to Pantip. 
Yeah, I missed it, but it was kind of a blessing in disguise. Uh, I got to keep my money. <laughs> More driving. The city's looking good. Nice weather the whole time. It rains at night. And yeah, that thing looks like the building's on fire. I wonder if that was intentional. This is my uh, chance to ride the BTS, which of course I have to do when I'm there. It's faster than driving, so when you really got to get there, you take the BTS. Uh, this is getting off at Victory Monument Station, which is close to the, uh, the old workplace at this particular area. There's the monument. All right, so I'll have to apologize for the crookedness and the wiggle on this part, but uh, I wanted to kind of show the walk in. So I attached the GoPro to the strap of my backpack, uh, you know. So I've got a little bit, I've got a little bit of a gangster lean going. If you hold your head like this, then it's much better. Oh yeah. It's a very long walk, so I took the liberty of speeding it up. But you do get to see this is seriously, like for real, Bangkok Business Day. Most of the stuff's still closed, of course, because it's early morning. But uh, a lot of people out. Everybody's got a place to go. Buying things, selling things, traffic. It's a proper Southeast Asian city, man. Ah! Now back on the BTS. Naturally, I'm not going to record my work activities for YouTube. But the travel part you get to see. That's the only interesting part anyway. The city's so modern now. Shut up and Games? Yeah, a guy knew uh, a place to go to get the English Switch games, and since I'm into that, I thought I'd get a few. Yeah. Play everything! And I wander around the hotel. This is the gym on the 26th floor. There's the pool and the view. So I came back out at night so as not to bother anybody. It steamed up my lens, so I apologize for that. Hey man, you like heights? Don't look down. <laughs> Still shot. Now I'm wandering around outside. There's the bus you don't want to ride. Instead, you should ride in a Toyota Camry. A lot of driving. The city looks cool under the blue sky, though. Man, you live in Seoul long enough, you miss that blue sky. Black. It's a black sign with the word black on it. It's a Johnny Walker sign. Ha. Food. My favorite part of the trip, food. Starbucks. I went to the market next to the hotel, got all kinds of stuff there. I bought it and I ate it. I was usually alone in the lounge because I'm not there for vacation. So, all to myself. Sausage. No champagne, no life. Pizza. Got some risotto. Got some soup. I love those things, man. Look at that. Pepper lunch. I got those in Japan. They are awesome. Outdoors. Get some tacos. Go to Churrusco. Give me some Brazilian barbecue. Awesome. But now it's time to go. So once again, more driving, driving to the airport. Savarnaboom International Airport. It's a pretty nice place, really. Four hour delay means free food for me, so I chilled out in the lounge, watched some Adam Korolik figure it out, and Runner 3 gaming. Got business class, got my switch, ready to go. The airport is disconnecting. Bye. Shh, shh, take off. So suspenseful.
it is awesome in the daytime. I fly at night most of the time just because it prevents interrupts. But uh, looking that clear day like that is really awesome. The city looks cool from the air. There's a cloud effect. Now we're up at a high altitude. This is about where they start uh, doing the food. So cool. Get the food again. Taking good care of me. I got the steak this time. Watch some movies. Go to bed. And that's it. All right. Well, this has been Thailand. Uh, Non-leisure travel. But, uh, you know, I guess you got to see some of the city, so that's cool. And, uh, you know, I took the time to stitch this together to give you something in return for your waiting for me to come back and do the Let's Plays. So, um, going to do that next. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, be good and have a good day. See you later. Bye.